They are requesting to prove the moral authority of the and you call I want to assume when there's good faith. Maybe this will be the evening when we finally get that last eight points needs of moral authority. So I've been thinking I might to once we reach it need to change that goal. I think it might to need to need to set up some polls polls that I can get some community input to, on it, what to select for reformations is it is it when you re, when you reform the faith in holy fury you get a dislike to the nature of two doctrines and in the method of leadership of your, your religion. From whole list like you know, you got all these for nature and the ones that are like that. What I might do is once we reach that goal, that'll be the stopping point for this stream. If we reach it before like 3 a.m., then that'll just be the stopping point for this stream. But host it, host pulls it in the chat and it in the description of it, and it, and of it, the, the, the vod out on YouTube, and it. And next, next stream of this, this will actually be reform the faith based on the results of those polls. First things first, lack of bravery. I've seen Kiyata, Kurdyatha, and Mr. Harvid during a couple of gatherings with the followers of Urzo. I cannot help but notice how how the young woman appears needlessly jumpy, flinching at jokes, turning down in scoring matches. She needs guidance, I, th I find myself muttering. Yeah, let's offer some guidance and gain 50. He. He is a. He gained 50 reputation. Yeah, I would agree to, yeah, that she needs my help in order to make her see. We things differently. We are able to spend a few nights camping in the woods, judging, judging by the nervous laughter my, my proposal is met with. I suspect she is, a, is aware of the many dangers the forest and the wilderness holds. It is, it is not, nothing for cowards, I conclude. So you've got, I'll bring my fire starter, spend 24. 0.2 gold, gain 5 prestige, or you will simply be yourself, 25% chance of getting humble. Okay, let's, let's become humble. <coughs> Lions of the King, he didn't are right there, right there for the picking. You seek to impress the followers of Oto, march your troops to Nusan del Cuba. Ooh, it's actually a quest of wage war. On Sweden. Then of all places. I'm not sure how ripe for the picking. Somebody with the lines of somebody with the close to eleven thousand troops is potentially under his command. Really are. Well, I mean, we can as long as they're. 
there were al as long as there were vassal allies are up for it, it, it we might stand a chance. You know, you know what? Let's let's try. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. Let's guess like the right guy. Conquest of Deltuva. And some of her troops ended up immediately in, involved in a fight because there happen to be now enemy these soldiers hers in some of her land I guess maybe this is part of what they meant by right for the picking and the two they're also currently in a war against somebody else. Yeah, we, that actually went super well. <laughs> All right there. How about you not? How about you not? I'd uh, uh, try and lay siege to each of my provinces while, I, while, our, while my soldiers are way over here. Now I'm gonna nominate. Oh, I guess we've already nominated it here, so. <laughs> Wounded and might die soon. Too, too old? 43 is too old? I guess, I guess it is a little old, at least by the standards of the time. You know, at least by almost, at least by, you know, late 10th century standards. Really, can you not do this right now? At this exact moment? Yeah, you guys made a mistake. <laughs> oh, 
All right, now we're back to having arrows or or air. Ooh, you realize you had a crush on Chief Salander all along and profess your feelings. Sure. We're not married. Yeah, we've, we've been a widow since... since uh, we've been a widow for 65 years. Right now. That's not how that works. <laughs> Yeah, we've we've been a widow for twenty seven years since three since three hundred and sixty eight nine and sixty eight. So. 65 year old old insane person brain fog <laughs> can't remember can't get the you know, yeah, how long our husband's been dead for all right I guess we'll have to deal with these guys after we finish the siege. <coughs> Good. Oh, uh, as we can apparently call into the battle. But none of them. Um, actually answer the call. Can you, can you stop running away? <laughs> Can you not do this right now? Like, really? Can you not? Well, we've improved our, our stewardship enough to complete our ambition. Well, hey, at least, at least he's only being minorly inconvenient because we have the God Slayer on our side. <laughs> You know, leading the army is with her 81 and, 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 and personal combat skill and 29 and, 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 
the 29 Marshall. You not do this right now, you assholes. <laughs> All right. Now we can focus on, on the people attacking us. This is... <laughs> and we can rank up to being a heroine. Oh, I guess we have to duel for it. Huh. I did not know that was a thing. Usually when... In previous times I've, I've played... It, it, it was that kind of faction, they usually just let you do it. But I guess in this case... I guess on some occasions that sort of tier is full. And so you have to fight for it. Now we're running a budget deficit. I believe it reduces the morale of our armies. <laughs> Which may cause us some trouble. Okay, indomitable, while leading armies you no longer suffer lethal or injury in battles. Call to glory, on your own character, your portrait, you must right clicking on your own, own character portrait to, to temporarily <coughs> <coughs> We can get, we can call to glory. <coughs> Let's... Ah, but we need to... More renown. Before we can do the thing. Okay, at least, at least these attackers seem to be mostly just being kind of a nuisance.
No, now, now is not the time for spending more gold. We're already be running a budget deficit. We're, we're lucky that we just sort of majorly outmatched our current enemies. He's otherwise, as we'd be, we'd probably be losing real bad. <laughs> I mean, here we have, we have really the God of Slayer, <laughs> E6 personal combat skill, probably from battlefield sacrifices, but still. Oh, hey, and to convert a province. <coughs> but now's not really the time to be focusing on that. Now's the time to be bashing Novgorodian skulls. Which we can't suffer never deadly injuries on the battlefield anymore because as a as a as we're a heroine. So no it Reports state that new recruits have been partaking in our initiation ritual, allowing the followers of Oats to, to be growing in numbers. Well, there goes our, our well, there goes our heiress. <laughs> Chief Salander seems familiar. Oh, our our lover murdered our daughter, basically. <laughs> Yes, if you could, if you could provide us with some, if you could provide us with some financial, you know, you know, bail, bail us out, that would be great. <coughs> I 
But hey, I mean, all we have to do is win this war, and it's looking like that's going to be pretty easy. He, he's, he's so far. Alright, these guys are a hundred. Enforce demands. Really, you think it's indecisive? Oh, never. If you want more of your people to die, then sure, be that way. <coughs> but you know, you could save so many lives if you just surrender. And it's not, it's, oh no, oh dear. Oh, there goes, there goes the God Slayer. <coughs> Perish is to the one enemy she could not uh, to, uh, conquer through brute force, old age. <laughs> Just hope that to Nicholas can and the and the live up to that legacy. Well, managed to win the war and get to the point of not having a budget deficit at the same time. So already his reign is turning out great. We've got 45.5 new more authority, but at the same time we also need to, to gain a lot more piety to be able to reform the faith. We should also get married <laughs> so that we can produce an heir and continue the dynasty. We've got a decent number of options. There's a couple some good traits needs to pass on onto their children. We 
you know, attractive and it's brilliant. Well, she's twelve, so we'll have so we'll have to be betrothal all for a few years. But she's a genius, so might pass that on to on to her kids. I mean, yeah, you know, we don't we don't actually need to need a child to be the heir, which also apparently hey, Nicholas is gay, so <laughs> so he's he's probably not gonna be that much of a fan of the whole process of creating a child. <laughs> Let's need to create a new vassal here. Also, set up a proper her court, order and council. Apparently, one of her, her tri tribal vassals is, is going on a conquest. Once again, it's one of her neighbors. Let's blackmail that vassal from now. Gain some piety. Take a patron deity. It's following her, her grandmother's footsteps. Lives and worship of Uko. Also, worship the ancestors. And we you blame battle and let me conquer our enemies. Sacrifice a random prisoner. Do we currently have those like pole things built? Over in the capital. Oh, 98, well, 48, he hit more authority. So if we can just get, so now we just need to get the, the piety. Since, you know, we need 750. But yeah, just piety. And to keep that moral authority up at that point. <coughs> so there are some quick ways to gain some piety. Because we need a lot. So you have at least only about like 600 more Building zeal boosts boost monthly piety. We've been buddies with the 
Uh, some of the some of the shamans and priestesses also no helps with that. Got way less soldiers under our direct command because as I'm pretty sure some of our some of our direct hedge holdings were split between our inner sisters and we need a new diviner. Sixteen. Sure, that'll work. It already it's dipped back below oh, oh 050, but only by a little. Like we could raid a temple and it'll get back right to and where it needs to be. Two temples. I think that might also grant some piety as well. So maybe we should do that. I mean, we've got, got some neighboring temples we can raid Eat easily. Let's go. Okay, the exact provinces. Like right over here. Oh, the Knights Templar are a thing now. A new Christian military order has been founded by a small group of wealthy knights. Four fellow no soldiers of Christ at the end of the, the Temple of Solomon, and the, or the Knights Templar for short, or to have sworn to protect pilgrims traveling through the Holy Land. The Catholic Church fully endorses the order. Of this will allow no pious Catholic rulers to, those to call on their aid to, Either they will only fight hate against heretics and infidels. And hmm. apparently, yeah, I guess he did kind of mess up the the Christian, the bulwark of Christianity or whatever. <laughs> Because now the Latin Empire has fallen to the Abyssinians. We're very close to being able to actually reform the faith. 
At long last, you're, you know, trying all these episodes, those of this, all these streams of this game. <clears throat> We're close to being able to actually get the goals we've had since the very begin, since the very, the very beginning, you know. Kind of all the different all to all goals when you're playing as it as it any any pagan nation to perform your faith so you can <coughs> become a bit more modernized. <laughs> yes, please. Please have foul impulses so you can specifically so you can resist them and gain more piety. <laughs> well that that raid went poorly. <coughs> Maybe we should pick on somebody with a few less soldiers. But hey, it's back up to 50, so... We just need to, to gain the piety. I'm gonna check what the wiki says. <coughs> that, that should give me some ideas as to what we can focus on. So, gain a small amount based on state learning, increased by majesty technology. Build, building zeal gives extra piety per month, we're already doing that. Bringing a, bringing a temple to a quarter that oh, gives piety. 25 of barony to your 50 of county capital. Two or two children, some child of personality trait events, but you pray for the child that you're not cynical. Only without conclave. We don't have conclave, so. Zealous and humble. I'll give one piety a month and content and at least give 0.5. You can get from uh, winning war or just raiding, sieging a temple of another religion provides a 1 to 5 question mark piety. So I guess they don't have a solid source on that. <coughs> Some temple buildings give monthly piety to their holder. Holder also gives, also provides piety to their liege, depending on a, uh, an opinion. 
some hospital building if you have monthly piety. If you don't have reapers do, but it does nothing. Releasing prisoners of your religion and gives it most five piety. Releasing prisoners gives piety if they hold titles, question mark. Donate to holy orders if you don't have any holy orders of this faith. So today let's perhaps see if any of our miscellaneous pri or 50 prisoners or Sumanusko. I think most of them are Slavic. Well, maybe. Here's one. None already, right off the bat. So, you're released. You're Christian, so you can run there. <laughs> you're also Christian, so again, you can run in there. Your, your Norse Christian 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 <laughs> Sumanusko Oh and also has a bloodline Bloodline Blood of Rurik the Whiner <laughs> The Founder of the Rurikid dynasty, he was a, a Varangian chieftain who ruled over the Norus and, and built several settlements, the most famous of which lies in Novgorod. Huh. We can. I'll, I'll release you. Gain five piety from that. You're Christian. It's actually, nope. Unfortunately, you can't. Execution piety. I think. I think that means that if you execute them, you lose piety. Because they're of your faith. So, that's a roundabout way to filter down to. Just to. This is Sumanosco prisoners. <laughs> Don't need zealots right now. Could hold an Ukon Jula a festival, I think that might. Help get some piety. Is it pays tribute to Uko? So but it's only in August that we can do that. So can't really do that right now. But we one thing we can do is we can ransom some people to gain gold. All of it. And quite a bit of gold from all of our grandmother's miscellaneous prisoners. <laughs> hmm. 
aqui. Probably I'm not really doing any raiding at this exact moment, so you can probably disband those guys. And now we have 300, 396 inch gold at our disposal. It's probably Upgrade temple from temple sum. Next income, the infantry, light infantry, three size, six. Oh, it's the monastic school. This temple walls one. Temples, skirmish techniques, but one more person we can rank so. And also, so low tribal, low organization. If we can get enough support for it, I'd say let's focus on you know getting. <coughs> Getting our religion reformed. We, during this evening's council meeting, Stuart Mayago told us a rumor he had encountered the, spe the peasants' feet speak of an artifact hidden not, not far away from here. The specifics of Mayago's information are uncertain, but perhaps he knows us to be worth, worth investigating. Yeah, sure. It's a oh, like a plan. Maybe he'll boost some piety.
And I also want to consider finding a more knowledgeable diviner. <laughs> or not. Well, wait, no. Search all. There we go. We can just sort of poke somebody else's diviner right out from under them. And now we've got a new divider. Build the seal. So gain an additional one one point oh five A for months. There's no modifiers. Those are causing a penalty that we can do anything about. It's time for a world to get married. So that that would be would rather have a husband than the than a wife. Sure, those would be serious. Too bad neither of those options. <coughs> Bring us the option of then of, of piety. She did, to, you know, boost our initial state learning by three. So, is there any artifacts we can get from the from the Smith? And it will boost it. Heidi. I don't think so, but can't hurt to have a can't hurt hurt to check. Might be able to get to something and go to this quest for an artifact. 
Those as well. Yeah, no, none of the no things you can get crafted by a weaponsmith. No, well, crafted by a smith would boost. No, is it? No, is it your, your piety? Oh, I guess got some people that died in the dungeon. Here we got got God Slayer, the exquisitely he crafted longsword, or crate. Easy grandma. <laughs> hmm. Oh, you have to ten years between every worship of the ancestors thing. It's gonna be a while before you can do that. And again. <coughs> At least the steward is making steady. Progress in this minister to the artifact. No, it's called the Great Triple Festival. <coughs> that your land increases by zero. That's two, two stewardship, some health. That's one stewardship plus some health plus two learning, so getting stressed. Complete prestige. Sure, let's go for that. That increases learning, which in turn increases piety. Some options. Yeah, we're trinkets, game, what's point five? Life piety per month. Now it's into all the symbols of 1004. And moral authority is dipped below the 50 mark of again. So it's throwing it all over that, that was. Right. How quickly the symbols in the town square is it? Those continues find their plate is in the fine ring. I am worth it, worth it to be picked and soon find myself in the thick of a brawl, dodging and struggling, 
Because at this point, we'll be facing two enemies. Spring Fire's working. Let's see, kill his feet, meat, and degradate her throat. Move to the ancestors. Sure. <coughs> Well, I got bumped up the moral authority. He so again, the big thing we need is piety. Do this now. The whole people decided to refuse to join in from the first role. They bring us a hundred piety. That's definitely a thing we want to do as often as possible. Well, right now. I'm not sure if it's a, a recurring thing or if it's just like once per ruler. Well, what? Right. <laughs> we confer. Northern Provinces also drinks piety, but we're kind of, well, Northern Provinces are kind of busy he granting us this additional piety by way of building zeal. Oh, or just pregnant. Or you can gain twenty five piety from the same twenty five gold. And get another twenty five piety. So as much as, much as, as our king didn't like, the, wasn't a big fan of the whole, you know, conception process. This is this pregnancy is giving us a, is a good amount of, of opportunities for more piety. <laughs> so let her have fun. Let's 
see you. Sure. We're only focusing on technology right now. <coughs> Hopefully, no, hopefully that is not, okay, that was not a war for religion, but just converted. Okay, three precision, ten piety, medicine, gold, only ten piety, only ten piety. Let's, let's go for that one. That has pretty much no downside. Maybe this has an artifact will help us out now with the piety situation. And the sun to get it to have is it is it need some additional piety of that. Sweden has converted. But they won't see them this go either. Maybe a little Norse. Norse or, Norse or something. Yeah. It's Sweden's a Nordic country. Pretty much waiting, gaining more piety. <coughs> Taking advantage of every opportunity to do so. Hey, you were briefly back up to the really <coughs> to see. And he goes with the well preserved head. He has proof that it once belonged to a great hero. He might bestow upon me some minerals of this that once contained. Have a great hero. The either Tim Prestige and he's disappointed. <laughs> Let's just pay him playing gold. The head of a great hero gives monthly prestige. 
plus point and zero five and learning plus one. So it does it in turn boost piety. Can ever boost up majesty while also prove our piety in the game. Where we know it's a cruel, what did we do to deserve being known as the cruel? Because of all the prisoners that we still have no no dungeon. One we can wear tomorrow. Also, just waiting at this point. I guess it's because we literally have the cool trait. <laughs> that's, that's probably why we're known as a cool. <laughs> the. The chance of becoming humble. You're now humble, which means that another plus one piety. He, he per month for a total of 3.17 piety a month. <laughs> We have a dangerous faction because this dude has decided to join in on an independence faction. And fortunately, it would be. He he tyrannical to imprison to try and imprison them. So let's just kill him instead, <laughs> because that's not tyrannical at all. Because because nobody knows you're the one that did it. <laughs> How about no? How about you not come here and preach it after I spent all this time working 
to reform the religion I already have. You know, maybe we should just embrace the reputation of being the cruel. And do a little tyranny every once in a while. They're going to call, call me the King Nicholas the Cruel, oh, well, I might as well live up to that, you know, as, as a, a sociological power couple, well, I think it's D.I. and T.W. Thomas said, 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 was, what men, men make real in their minds means is real in its consequences. I think that's how the Thomas Theorem goes. I'm just remembering it off the top of my head. W. I. Thomas and D. S. Thomas. If men define in situations as real, they are real in their consequences. So if they're going to define me as, as cruel, I might as well be cruel sometimes. That's just it being real in its consequences. You know, self-fulfilling self prophecies and all that. <laughs> Unfortunately, the moral authority is dipped quite a bit, so that they can come along. I don't know, bear hunt. Hmm. It's a magnificent king, King Nicola. That's, uh, your wisdom and mercy are legendary. We propose that Queen Ordampa Or the usurper and Alec a cackoid in very matrilineally. Hmm. Sure. That makes me the son in law of a queen, right? I think that's how that works. <coughs> Apparently, also gay. <laughs> Maybe because I'm a different dynasty that doesn't, you know, put me on the me in the line of succession. But I mean, maybe we can at least get an alliance out of it maybe later? No? Due to bullshit political concerns?
apparently this guy who's currently in prison and he usurped the there's a, there's a title. Well, perhaps you are freaking die. Yeah, you're gonna. We're going to go around usurping things from in prison somehow. You can. You can just commit not alive. I should have thought that through a bit more, evidently. But hey, we've got, we've got a decent army to bring down on them. Not really quite as... Have you know the martial skills of the God Slayer who are on her side anymore? But she, we can still put up a good fight. <laughs> Or not. Or we might just get obliterated. We need to call in maybe some mercenaries. Sure, can that works as long as you aren't trying to become independent spontaneously? He, he, that works. Unfortunately, now we have a lot. Of problems.
Oh no. Now the previous. <laughs> King, can you not with the powerful factions? Now, maybe to get low tribal organization going. In which case, we can start revoking getting some titles. Depower this asshole in particular. Dang, point oh three the prestige per month. Well, fuck you too. <laughs> Maybe if we, maybe we can ransom some, some people, get to, you know, having some money, we can send him a present. We can spread some gifts around to the people that are still put, uh, opposing the change in the laws. Thank you. 
good portion of it. A good portion of it. None of his problem with with me is just I'm short. Way to way to be a dick about how oh, oh, dwarves. Like li literally the main reasons he doesn't like us is that we're a woman and we're a dwarf. So he's literally pretty much just opposed to us just for the sake of being an asshole. Oh no, so we just go fate if it's down to 41% moral authority. <clears throat> We're so close and we've fallen so far in just like a few minutes. Here you can be on the council. Will that will that appease you, asshole? Let's go for something commercial based. He's not only native sixteen. <laughs> oh, see this is, this is it's almost three AM. It clearly it's literally three AM now. You know, call it here. We definitely got our work cut out for us next stream. Any of this? You know, fix, fixing this mess. Thanks, thanks for watching. <laughs>